What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got something real exciting to talk to you about. Today we are going to be installing, finally, some running boards on the old beast over here. Okay, just got all the boxes unloaded, and this is what we're left with. You got your wiring harnesses, you got your LED lights, you got all of your brackets, the motor brackets, and let me tell you, these things are very well made. Very big, very heavy, very well made. You got your uh, installation manual, and then you got your running boards. I flipped one over so you could see the tread, and then the under underneath, actually has a nice insignia of the rolling big power. So that's pretty much what's in the box. Let's get these things installed. Okay guys, here we go. Just for those of you who whose truck does not come with factory threaded uh, running board bolts, uh, they will come pre-equipped with the holes but some trucks will come with it, some will not. It depends on if your truck actually came with factory bolts, uh, running boards or not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this part that RBP included in their kit. And you're basically gonna slide it, slide it in that hole, be careful you don't drop it. You're gonna wiggle it in place and let that little tab, see where my finger is? You're gonna let that little tab kind of rest there. Okay, it'll hold, okay? But what you're gonna wanna do though, uh, I found out the best thing to do is start threading one of these bolts, you know, hand tight. That way it'll hold it in place. Then what you're going to do is take your mounting bracket, and when you bracket up here, that this will not push out of, out of the way. That way you can thread it in from the top because it is very tight and hard to get to. But once you get that thread in, uh, then you can twist, you can actually twist the... Um, the mounting uh, motor out of the way to remove this bolt. That way, when you can put it back up, you can actually put the bolt back in uh, and it'll be attached. Kind of like, I already got one installed over here. So I already got that one hand tight. And then I'm putting this one in next, but I just wanted to show you guys the easiest thing so you don't make a mistake is set the mounting threaded bracket in there like this thread down either side just thread down one hand tight and that'll hold it in place until you get the first uh bolt off from of your motor mounted to it and then it should be easier from there all right okay guys we're all done everything is installed everything is clean streamlined out of the way everything works really really well that's what they look like during the day sorry the truck's a little bit dirty Okay, install went pretty good. I'd say the hardest part was the wiring, just fishing it through the, through the truck, and I'll go over a couple things with that. But, crawl under the truck real quick. That's what's nice about a lifted truck. You don't actually have to use the jack, you just crawl underneath it. But this is what it looks like with the bracket up there. Uh, again, the hardest part of the brackets was putting in the little metal insert because my truck did not come standard with factory running boards. So the holes up there, I'd use that bracket. And I'll post a video right next after this clip to show you how I got around that. So again, got the motors installed, got all the wiring installed, zip tied. Everything's clean, out of the way. Run the wire across to the other side. And then the same thing on that side, there's a motor over here and a motor back there so all that's done and then what you do is the other wire power wire comes out of the module goes right up there under the engine bay which i'll show you next pull it right up through here and then i got the negative tied in here positive tied in there got your fuses everything's good to go looks nice 
That's rolling big power underneath. Probably can't see the light, but it does say it. So everything goes good, works really well. Now I will say this, they don't come down as low as I hoped they would, but again, my truck's pretty high off the ground as is. So from this point here to this point here, I mean, you're still probably close to a foot. So it's definitely better, but you know, I do wish it was an inch or two, maybe lower. But other than that, works really, really well. Now, one thing I did um, have issues with, I mean, the sensors, you gotta put these sensors in right here. Here's the, the main sensor and then the magnetic, uh, I can't quite get it to focus, but there's actually a magnetic strip right here you gotta put on. That's the probably the, the most difficult part I had is lining them up. Cause even though I followed the directions to the inch, because you have to follow like a piece of tape right across here and, you know, they give you the instructions on it. I still had a little trouble lining them up. So I had to do a little bit of playing around getting them lined up because if they don't line up exactly, uh, the boards won't work. And then you also have a kill switch, which I did not mount yet. I just have it tucked under the seat, but you can see you have a kill switch here that can manually turn them on. In case you ever need that or have an issue with them. So other than that, it was pretty simple. Drilling through the floor here, running them through all the, you know, the side panels here. Now the one issue I did have on the other side, uh, which I'll just say it's 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 completely my fault, is paying attention to the panels, putting them back in, and where the placement of the wires are. Tape them out of the way because on the opposite side, I actually put the panel in and pinched the wire and it shorted, uh, it wouldn't work basically. So I had to take the panel off, re-splice the wire, tape it, and everything works perfectly. But again, that was my fault. So other than that, just pay attention to that. Um, definitely make sure you have the right tools and wrenches for this job because I didn't have ratcheting wrenches and my socket set, uh, none of my sockets would fit underneath to tighten the back bolts of the motors. It's too tight. So make sure you have uh, some ratcheting wrenches. That'll work really well. Um, I didn't have any uh, at the time, so I had to use a crescent wrench, which it worked, but you know it's not as tight as I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna have to buy some wrenches this week and just do a little once over, make sure everything's nice and tight. But yeah, everything went good. Works good, I'm happy with it, works well. And uh, I'm happy with it. So let's see how, see how they go from here. All right. Talk to you soon. Here we go. Not so bad.